So we were talking a little bit in our warm up before we started, and I thought I would bring, I would start in a different way today. So we were five getting prepared for the session. Vanessa is in Sao Paulo. I am in Curitiba, which is the south of Brazil. Ben is in Dallas. Vivi is in London and Carolina is in Prague. So this is how global and how big we are with all these um, Zoom calls and webinars and everything. And specifically, Autovita that is now coming strong into LATAM. So really, really important. And we are here today to introduce Autovita. And I am going to be very brief and pass it over to Ben. That's going to call then Vivi and Carolina. So Ben, over to you. Patricia, thank you so much. And Vanessa, thank you so much. And thanks everybody for being here today. This is a really exciting week for us as we partner with Brazil Talks and LATAM Talks to kind of come into the region is a big kickoff. We've been doing business in the region for, for a while now, but this is really our, our big our big kickoff and entrance into the region. So thank you so much for the opportunity to be here. It's always exciting to be back on Brazil Talks. Um, and I just wanted to kind of maybe set the table with saying, you know, as we come into the region, we're really looking for feedback from thought leaders such as yourselves. Uh, in the region. We're looking for partners. We're looking for people um, who can who can continue to kind of make us stronger and continue to kind of support the growth that we have. Um, as, uh, as the ladies were saying before we got on the show, we were actually talking about all the new initiations and things that we're getting in the region. So uh, it's really exciting time for us. I'm so honored to be here. Um, maybe just really briefly about how I got involved with Alta Vida. Um, we actually kind of uh, linked up last year when we did our corporate housing summit, and we brought thought leadership from uh, around the world to be present and talk about kind of corporate housing trends and everything. And it was really amazing. And at that point, I understood the way that VV and Carolina thought differently because they were bringing in, you know, large investment companies, they were bringing in technology companies, they were bringing in companies from the global mobility space, they were also bringing in companies that were kind of um, uh, aligned, but in different industries. And, uh, and as we thought about that, and we thought about the different ways that technology could really advance our industry, I was just really blown away. And so we actually, at that point, decided to collaborate even further and get involved more. So I'm really honored to be here. So without further ado, I wanted to introduce Vivi Chiari Himmel, CEO of Alta Vida. How are you? Ben, thank you so much, Patricia uh, and Vanessa, for bringing me and Carolina into uh, today's session. We're really uh, honored and also blessed to be here. Uh, if I may, I, I have prepared, a, uh, Carolina and I, we have prepared a small presentation to kick the session off. And then after that, um, back over to you, Ben. Okay. Um, yeah, so. I wonder if, if um, all of you have uh, relocated or sent your assignees um, to different parts of the world and realized that the accommodation they're in are pretty subpar. No Wi-Fi, uh, linens and towels are not there. Well, this is actually what goes on behind the scene. Um, team companies are involved leveraging on each other's uh, inventory and creating this spectacular multi-layering cost structure behind the scene. Um, they do this mainly because nobody has truly global in life inventories. And then when an incident happens, they start asking questions, who is accountable in this chaotic web of uh, many companies? So even after that, after so much work and lengthy processes, employees are getting their housing options in this poorly malformatted email in PDF. Their $200 budget essentially gives them only a property that is worth $100 per night. So we think that there is a complacency in the market. Um, we think that corporate housing has been the slowest to adopt innovation. Um, you, see, you still see a lot of call center, email, PDF. Um, actually, COVID uh, kicked it even further. Two of the large legacy companies have essentially disintegrated from this market. And there comes Alta Vita. We are a truly global corporate housing provider. Um, we consolidate the fragmented property markets around the world by integrating directly with their property management system, creating a truly global life inventory so that no one has to enter any data and that 
well, actually no more manual processes. And we specialize just in one sector that is global mobility. And our unique value proposition is really a combination of um, our live and global infrastructure and a thoughtful, structured, formatted um, user journey suitable for any policies from fully managed, core flex, managed budget, lump sum, so on and so forth. And most importantly, the compliance to duty of care and then safe and secure data protection and information security. So relocation managers can set their budget behind the scene pretty easily. Assignees are getting uh, their housing options now in this thoughtful format. And our white labeling API means that no one has to rebrand with PDF and emails anymore. We also build this cool commute feature um, after a discovery session with Apple. Uh, within the click of a button, you can see how long it takes you to commute with different methods of transportation. Um, and yeah, you know, look forward to showing this to you in our product demo later on, hopefully. Um, Apple and many other technology companies are our early adopters. And since then, we've been working with many RMCs across the world. My name is Vivi Chayadi Himel. I am the CEO and co-founder of AltaVita. I've lived and relocated uh, many times in my life before. And my co-founder, Karolina Saviova, she shares the same story with me. She's lived in Paris, Gabon, Istanbul, Geneva, India, so on and so forth. Collectively, we have lived in over 20 cities and we are the creators of AltaVita. Over to you, my partner in crime. Thank you so much, Vivi. We're extremely humbled by this opportunity uh, to showcase our product and as well inventory in the, in the uh, LATAM region. So my name is Carolina. I'm the COO of the company and I do take care over the operations, duty of care uh, and supply chain management. So in terms of the housing options that we actually offer in AltaVita, we have a very diverse portfolio which ranges from verified professionally managed home to service apartments, gated communities, as well as single family houses and villas. Uh, when we look at the duty of care, uh, which is extremely important in our sector, we have developed within a, the technology that we have a two-tier quality control system, um, which is applicable across all the vendors that we work with. And even more so within the LATAM region, um, where safety and security is definitely a big topic. So uh, prior we onboard any supplier onto AltaVita, we would schedule a meeting with them to really understand how they work, how their operations are set up, what type of insurance they have, and particularly really have a due um, diligence on their security setup. So whether their properties are located in secure locations, whether they have a 24 seven concierge CCTV cameras, or whether the units are placed in gated communities. We love to work uh, with professional uh, property management companies that have uh, and can provide weekly cleaning, maintenance, 24 seven emergency number, and can then connect uh, once kind of verified all their portfolio onto our platform. So um, if we can move on to uh, other slides, Vivi. Um, so here's really the vetting process of the supplier. So we would conduct background checks as well. So we would have a look at the online reviews. We have a dedicated supply chain team and they, they vet every uh, single point that we have here in terms of uh, the, the operational setup. Once this is established, uh, if you can move to the next slide. Uh, we would also have a look at the property level. Uh, Vivi mentioned that we have a fully integrated portfolio. That means that we don't work with any other uh, corporate housing um, agency, but we go directly to the suppliers. So this really enables us to also have a look at the property level and really vet sing, um, everything per, per single unit. So for example, we would have a look whether there is a high-speed Wi-Fi in the apartment, uh, we are very mindful of the work from anywhere trend as well. So we look at uh, such amenities like in-house entertainment, in-house technology, 
And then the more uh, basic kind of features like fully stocked kitchens, fresh towels, linens, washing machines, um, whether the units are pet friendly as well. That's a big, um, big one, especially during uh, the relocation process. And uh, ultimately, we also look at the personalized services. We realized that during COVID, a lot of people are also willing to have grocery delivery prior arrival, or they might be also willing airport shuttle uh, arrangements. So that's something that we're also able to provide uh, with help of uh, our partners. Um, you will see in, in the demo later on uh, that we are working with very design-oriented property management companies. It was a beautiful surprise um, how, how um, beautiful and very well designed the units are from Sao Paulo to Mexico City, Santiago. So uh, we'll be able to show you the actual units as well. Last but not least, we also have another pillar when it comes to the quality control. If you can move to the next slide, which is a pre-inspection. Oh, um, and then uh, the pre-inspection actually takes uh, care uh, takes 24 hours prior every single uh, move, and um, it's done by the property manager. And then they feed us all the videos and uh, pictures of the walkthrough that they do, and we then verify independently the quality of the unit for every single arrival. And that is really applicable all across the locations that you see. So from North America to EMEA, LATAM, APAC. So it's a very large kind of scale operation, but it allows us to only uh, to, to maintain quality consistency across our portfolio. Last but not least, I would also like to mention that we have um, offices in, uh, in, Dal uh, in Dallas to serve this part of the world. We also have uh, our headquarter in London and last but not least, Singapore uh, for our APAC region. And then uh, perhaps Vivi, if we can go to the LATAM map to actually show our LATAM coverage that we've been yeah. really working hard on over the last months. We're already revenue generating, so we're able to uh, book clients in multiple cities, including in Santiago, Panama City, San Juan, which was a very interesting location for us as well. Mexico City, San Paulo, Antofagasta, uh, Lima, etc. Carolina, would you like to go inside one of the cities? Yes, perhaps it's a um, kind of great idea to showcase Mexico City. Um, I think they have fantastic options. And then, uh, so typically we, in terms of our portfolio setup, we cover studio, one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom units. So even for suitable for family relocation and um, not sure why <laughs> whether we'll be able to get there. I still see the uh, presentation here. Oh. Yeah. Oh, the screen share, yeah. Really, okay. Car oh. Carolina was being nice about it. She's funny. <laughs> 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 I just figured I'd say that and just let everybody know. Yeah, sure. but I, okay, I do have a question second. while Vivi gets that set up. I do, I do want to interject a couple of questions here because um, during our last session, I think it was really interesting to hear the feedback from the folks in the audience as well who are kind of uh, on the ground, so to speak, out there. So. I saw a few people were getting active in the in the comments, and I didn't know Patricia if it would be okay to encourage maybe some people to uh, to also ask questions if they'd like. Yes, sure. The more participation we have, the better it is. The richer the presentation becomes. So feel free, anybody, to either to put your questions there, or uh, we will soon open the microphones also so that you can actually come out and ask your question. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And we think it's we think it's really neat to actually you know it's great to talk about kind of everything that we do, but it's also really neat to actually show you the actual technology in, in real life. So, um, Carolina, I guess I'll hand it back to you. Yeah, sure. So uh, perhaps we can go to Mexico City to uh, showcase some of the units in action. So uh, uh, here we go. We have an amazing partner combining uh, technology and and. Um, very designed kind of approach to their portfolio, as you'll see here. So I think that the last one that we booked was like a three bedroom that we were looking at, which was a really beautiful one, but maybe feel free to click on anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we put this. Uh, 
Perfect. I think Patricia and I fell in love with the uh, place in Polanco, if I recall. Yeah, I was looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Polanco is a very, very popular area yeah. for, for all the for all the businesses. So these are all just gorgeous. Can we maybe select one? This one looks good. Yeah. And it's really interesting as we're kind of going through this, I think it's important to note and, and um, Vivian Carolina kind of talked about this before, but you see how many photos and how much information is instantaneously available. Whereas the legacy providers in this space might provide one, two, maybe three photos. Um, we actually provide a lot, a lot of pictures and we find that our assignees really enjoy Kind of going through here and mm -hmm. kind of exploring you know really nice well so, maybe we could go through uh, some of the questions from the audience and then um, at the end perhaps a bit a bit more in the product demo mm -hmm. so we have a question here from rigo rigo is my friend in, in mexico and he's asking asking um, which dsp relocation companies would you work with in mexico city mm -hmm. Who are your partners in Mexico City? So on the supply side, well, on the supply side, it's very easy. So we uh, wouldn't work necessarily with DSPs. Uh, we would go direct to the to the operators. So uh, the, the one that we showcased, for example, it's a company that we really, really love. Uh, the, the company is Kasai. And it's a very design-driven, very ambitious um, company that's been I think around for the last 10 seven years and they're they're basically expanding really fast they're trying to uh, grow their inventory regionally which is um, quite unique within uh, the LATAM setup uh, when we're doing research there are not so many uh, really large-scale regional uh, service department chains so that's some someone that they're trying to become it's very interesting and um, otherwise we also have more traditional partners like IMAP for example for Mexico uh, managing service department uh, units in Polanco and other few business um, areas of Mexico City. Okay, um, Dora from uh, Metropolitan, she's based out in California but she has a lot of experience in LATAM. Um, she's asking having so many properties worldwide, how is the maintenance of the properties managed? Is it through AltoVita or third providers, third party providers? Well, precisely uh, in order to manage the consistency, it needs to be managed by, um, by AltoVita. So where the, we provide the customer service, single point of contact for all the clients from the booking process to check-in instructions, uh, incident management, guest experience and concierge services. So um, at any time of the day, 24 seven, we provide that service for all of our clients, be it relocation management companies uh, or employees directly coming to book with AltoVita. Mm -hmm. Ben, do you want us to open the microphone so that they can ask the, the questions on their own? I, I would I would love that. If, if okay, so can yeah. we do that? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Let's do that, just a second. See all these wonderful names here. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I sent my link out to several people. <laughs> So great. people are you coming in as much <laughs> And you can unmute yourselves, okay? <gasps> Stephanie yeah. from the Stephanie from Boston, she is with Air Inc. She's asking, do you plan on working with some smaller cities in Latam? Um, Neuquén is a location that a lot of my clients have problem in finding quality units. Stephanie, share with us where Neuquén is, because uh, I have to be honest, I have no idea. Neuquén is um, in Argentina. Argentina. Wow. Really? Yeah. Good to know. Sorry, I didn't know that. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> we, we love these problems. I say we love these problems. Carolina's like, I don't know. <laughs> no, but we do. We love these problems though, because we're, wherever, you know, supply is difficult to source. I mean, that we, we really enjoy taking these challenges on, whether they're technological challenges or supply chain challenges. So, so Carolina, how would you go about sourcing something in Neuquén? 
<laughs> Great question. So we're used to work uh, working with pharmaceutical companies, manufacturing companies, um, which usually have or, or need housing solutions in quite remote locations where service departments are simply not present. So uh, what we would what we would do in this case is that we have developed the two tier quality control process that we're able to apply to, uh, we call it, uh, the segment is called unique homes. So we would identify a property manager within that loca location, can be a real estate operator, but someone who's also able to deliver the hospitality part. And then we train them um, on what the corporate uh, standards are. We also sign quite strict SLAs with them in order to make sure that the quality is gonna be constant and that they will deliver. And then uh, only we're able to, to really work with them. And on the top of everything, we would always conduct the pre-inspection prior every single arrival. Great, thank you. And, mm -hmm. and Stephanie, I would love to connect with you about, about these, these challenges as well, because I mean, these are, these are opportunities for us to really kind of add value, I think. Absolutely. Great. <laughs> Rigo, the movie star over there. I think that's very interesting. That's good. Sorry, I, I wasn't able to find uh, a better one. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I have a question, but probably you will discuss about it um, just in a few minutes. But and just a I have a question about the... Um, you, you were talking about kind of... Uh, synchronizing your platform with providers. And I saw the name of EQNet, which is a company in Mexico City who is providing destination services. So from an from IT perspective, that means that you are able to make that integration, which is called, I, I guess, um, I, API, which is Program and Interface Application, something like that. Is, is that right? Just to understand fully what, what you're saying. Yeah, precisely. Yeah. Uh, we do have the ability to integrate directly uh, to um, when it's an API integration. It's obviously the the best the best quality of uh, like uh, information transfer that we get from the providers because we're able to source not only the content but also dynamic rates which may vary per season. Or for example, if you select a stay for sixty days, then you will always get the best price. Um, and then if, if it's a short stay, it may be a bit more expensive, but it reacts on the length of stay and uh, it also manages the availability. So you will instantly know uh, what is available. If you have like a rushed arrival, that's extremely handy that, you know, one doesn't need to wait 48 hours for someone to source it and then uh, kind of re-PDF it, but you actually have everything uh, very quickly sourced. Yeah. If I just quickly add, uh, we've been able to um, cut uh, 24 to 48 hours process down to just a few minutes. And we'd love to show you our product demo later on to illustrate that. Yeah, I think that's a great idea, Vivi, um, because I, I actually think, you know, maybe maybe we should instead of, you know, maybe I'm always a fan of like actually looking at the actual product, right? And stuff. It's one thing that say we can do things and it's another thing that I think. <laughs> So what if, what if we, um, I see one more question. Well, should we take that question and maybe we'll hop into a real situation, a scenario? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Is there a minimum period of stay in those properties? It's Anna Maria from BGRS that's asking. Uh, generally it's two days. Two? Yeah, it's wow. very, that's why it's uh, the, the beauty of the API, it calculates everything based on the, uh, on the length of stay. So then the rate will be, uh, like specify for the set today stay plus, or then uh, you can book even for two days, like in a hotel. Ah, that's good. Question from me now, is there a difference, for example, if you're booking for two days, for 30 days or for 90 days? Mm -hmm. Is there a difference in the rates? Yeah, it's negotiable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes, it's, um, uh, for example, if we would select Kasai, then uh, it would be automatically uh, adjusting the pricing based on the length of stay. Okay. So yeah, you are able to always get the best price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it, so, really, it really looks like Airbnb. Yeah, sorry, just a comment because I was, you know, I was, uh, I made this comment last session we had, and 
I think it's a, it's a way that we actually look for that when we are traveling or when we use it to, because in this crazy world, we do not travel anymore. But anyway, uh, and, and I think it's all at hand, right? You, you really need to click and, and search and wait for the tool to, to do everything for you. You don't really have to go over and search and do a lot of things. It's, um, it's something that is actually all in only one place, right? Yeah, and that's, that's a great you, observation. <laughs> that's a great observation. And, and what we tell our clients a lot of times is that we think in some ways the consumer experience, you know, is actually outpaced what the corporate experience has been. Because for so long, the corporate supply chain has been closed and, and with good reason, right? Duty of care is extremely important. Uh, contract billing terms these are extremely important. Relationships are extremely important. And so the supply chain for corporate housing has been kind of constricted to the what we call legacy players. Um, for, for good reason. But at the same time, we know that our transferees and our employees and oftentimes even ourselves are also becoming accustomed to an Airbnb experience or an Expedia, Orbitz, Booking.com experience, right? And that instantaneousness and that transparency and that price parity. So we said, okay, how can we combine transparency, price parity, uh, instantaneous booking, and, and combine the duty of care, which we know are table stakes for doing business for corporate relocation clients worldwide? And, and that, I think, is the really, truly the magic of Alta Vida, right, is yeah. being able to combine those two worlds, right? Yeah. Um, I would love to, I would love to do a scenario. I'd like to play a game. Can we play a little game, Patricia? Can we, sure. can we send you on assignment? <laughs> I know Brazil Talks is growing so quickly, and now Latam Talks and everything, and, and you're going, I think it's time that we send you on assignment to expand your empire in, in South America and the region. I well, think so too. And even because I'm bored of staying back in Brazil, I'm so used to traveling. <laughs> I can't, I'm, I've been here for 12 months and it's like, I need to get out, right? Yes. So, yes. Wh so where are you going to send me to? Send me to Lima this time. Lima, okay. Lima. All right. Wow, throw, okay. me, throw me a curveball. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, right, so I always remember that I always have to take my Labrador with me because he's 17 years old and I can't leave him behind. So it has to be pet friendly. <laughs> Right. Yeah. And I have, how many kids do I have this time? It'll be easier this time. I only have one daughter this time. <laughs> one daughter. No more two yeah. twin boys. And no, no more boy. twin boys. They gave me <laughs> too much trouble. Boys. Good, good. They're hard on the furniture too. So yeah, yeah, no. Okay. Just a, a teenager, a teenager girl this time. Oh gosh, that's more than three boys. A teenage girl is more than three. Okay. So, okay, wonderful. This is great. Um, and, and then let's also have some fun here and let's use... Um, Let's use one of our relocation uh, management company. Um, let's see who's on the webinar. What if we use um, uh, Anna Maria Rodriguez? Uh, I believe you were with VGRS, Anna Maria Rodriguez. Is that is that right? Yes. Yes, that's right. Hey, there you go. Okay. So Hello. why don't we do this? Why don't we use? Why don't we say that VGRS is going to relocate you? Okay. Because okay. now you have this this enormous budget now for the executive mm -hmm. producer and creator of uh, Brazil Talks and Latam Talks, and she needs white glove service, very high end. She can be a handful, Ana Maria Rodriguez. Okay, I have to warn you, uh, this, this is a need. But okay, oh. so let's do this. Let's pretend that uh, Ana Maria Rodriguez is relocating Patricia Tavares. And um, Didi, would you like to show us what that would look like? Yeah. The good thing is that the good thing is that Anna Maria knows me inside out, so she, exactly. I'm not going to be that much of a pain. <laughs> I'm predictable to her. She is. So, so this this would be your system right here, Anna Maria. So you mm -hmm. would come in here, and Vivi is is uh, working her magic here, and Anna Maria. I guess. Uh, actually, yeah, the employee is going to be. Patricia. I'm sorry, Patricia. What am I doing? Yes. <laughs> I am so sorry, Patricia. No, that's no okay. Problem. They want me to go with you, Patty. Yeah, <laughs> we're both Brazil talks. Why not? Yeah. I want to visit. Please, one extra bedroom for me. <laughs> okay. So that Let's makes see. an important uh, important information. Yeah, but, but, but it's true that Patricia will need some extra bedrooms for her family. <laughs> and visitors. Exactly. <laughs> Shall we do oh, US dollars? Um, yes. Yeah. And we have this feature that um, essentially allow relocation company to hide prices, but at the same time, mm -hmm. be able to see prices behind the scene at the same time. So mm -hmm. let's head prices here. Um, so Anna Maria, 
Anna Maria, let me ask Anna Maria, do we want to show Patricia what her budget, you know, what she's spending no. or do we just, because she's such a VIP, we just want to. No, 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 we don't want her to see the prices. No pricing, okay. No pricing, no. <laughs> Now, should we give her a budget, though, or we just whatever yes. she wants? Or yes, I think yes, we need a no. budget. Yeah, no, there will be there should be a budget for even for her being VIP. There will be a budget, but we don't want to show her. Okay. How much it is? What That's should good. be her budget? Uh, I say in Lima, three thousand per month. How much is that in US dollars, uh, Patricia? Oh, three thousand dollars. So one hundred thousand dollars. One hundred a day. Yeah, a day yeah, 100. 100 a day. Okay. Yeah, for Lima, I think it's that's that's even a large budget. I think. For, yeah, yeah, that's okay. yeah, for <laughs> Lima. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like I'm going to get something yeah. really good. I like it I, because I you know, all the visitors feeling. I'm going to need. I'm going to have you know, it's like four bedrooms. <laughs> no, I have. Oh my god. Patricia is going to get a nice gym and and pool. Maybe is this budget? Yes, <laughs> yes. very important, oh, Carolina. Yes. I need that yeah. amenity. <laughs> Yeah, she no. needs the amenities because I know that she practices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we, we also have, have a referral fee feature built in uh, that you know can be easily applied. Just quite handy for RMCs. Mm -hmm. Anna, well, Anna Maria does need to get paid for her services, so I think we should put something <laughs> on top of that for her. Do you have any idea yeah. what is usually the referral fee per day? Uh, is it percentage or amount per night? Usually, right. 10%? 10 percent. Ten percent, yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see what we have. We have three properties, all within um, Patricia's budget. Mm -hmm. So let's let's check them out. Um, review and send. <coughs> uh, we can include property addresses as well. Mm -hmm. Except we don't have them um, here. Probably because Lima, we, not sure why, but usually we have a lot of the addresses as well filled out automatically yeah, linked that's, to that's Google it. API. But yeah, maybe not in, in Lima yet. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Yeah, this is what I was going to to ask. Where, where is in Lima? Because is she staying in Mira Flores? Because I want her to stay in Mira Flores. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, so we do have very this, real uh, client. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> feature. Um, I like can this. Can you spell it for me, please, Ana Maria? Sure. Uh, it's M I N. M oh, do you want me to type here for the chat? I guess it's easier. Uh, yeah, that yeah. is the first one. The oh, first one there. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. Morris. Okay, mm -hmm. there we go. Mm -hmm. Google's very so smart. Let's see. So. Do we have yeah, any properties nearby? Yeah, we have this one here, um, <laughs> Branco. Okay. So San Isidro for two bedroom. Mm -hmm. So that takes about eight minutes by car. Actually, not too bad. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. All right. So let's okay. show her. Let's show her. So now, so now Anna Maria does a little bit of uh, her team at BGRS does this homework and puts this together for her. And then now they can send these three options to Patricia mm -hmm. for review. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now when and Patricia I, is going to her teenage daughter and saying, we're moving to Lima, and her teenage daughter is saying, what are you talking about? I have my, my boyfriend and my sports and my whatever, right? <laughs> no, come look. It's beautiful. Here, come look. Check it out. We're in Mirda Flores. <laughs> yeah, you see? Yeah, All right. <laughs> so that should oop, uh, send an email Actually, I wanted to send an email to myself as well. Uh, why don't okay. I do that again? Mm -hmm. So we can send it to myself so we can all review it together. Mm -hmm. Maybe you send it to Anna Maria as well, so she has it. Anna Maria, would I be able to get your email? Sure, I'm going to uh, uh, type here in the chat. <laughs> Maybe you see it in the chat there the uh email. Um trying to yeah. Can't see in the let's see. Don't see chat down at the very bottom. Got it. Yeah. <clears throat> Perfect. 
Perfect. It's always exciting when you do this, like, you know, in real, in real time. In real time, time. Yeah. <laughs> it's happening. Right. That means I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, while we wait for the, um, for, uh, the email to come, it should, should arrive within the next minute or so. Um, why don't we quickly show you how we can also, uh, serve other employees in different policies. Uh, so see no budget. Within seconds, we're able to create a landing page all in BGRS interface in color and has access to all of our inventories around the world and most importantly in LATAM. Uh, let's let's go to Mexico City again. Um, just want to show you how that looks like um, the way you saw before an Alta Vita website, but now completely transformed into BGRS interface. And, wow. and we're in Puerto Vallarta right here, which is even more exciting. But I wouldn't mind uh, staying a bit in Puerto de Vallarta. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just yeah. look at look at this uh, units. It's crazy. In the okay. uh, romantic zone, perhaps. Let's see. Let's see. We have the, the three bedroom that we love so much. What was it? Well, this is Puerto right? Vallarta. We got to go over to Mexico City, Vivi, I think. Otherwise, oh, we're, on the, the honeymoon. we're in the honeymoon. I am so season. sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> I see all these romantic oh. zones. It's like funny because Puerto Vallarta is a, a, like a honeymoon you know, destination. Kind of thing. But you know, with the Mexico City. Mm, work from anywhere, go. work from anywhere movement, we got quite a Good traction, Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> okay, uh, three bedrooms. Where was this yesterday? The one in Palanca, this one. I think. Yeah, there it is. This is the house we all fell in love with. Wow. <laughs> in Mexico City. Um, yeah. Daniel has a good comment here, actually. It says, great comment, Daniel. I like how the what descriptions. Is the he says, I like how the description, Sunset Views, Charming Zone are more appealing than standard corporate housing ads. <laughs> it draws my attention. I believe it makes the decision for the expat easier and more fun. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, true, so Danny. Mm -hmm. uh, all of this. Sorry, I won't is... share my face because yeah. I have a, a Rottweiler by my side, but it really draws my attention to. That it's whoops. Did we lost oh. him? Did we lose him? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we did. Oh hi, this oh. is Anna. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I just received the email from, from you guys. Oh good. Let yeah. let's see it. Uh let's see it in my Patricia's relocation to Lima. So mm -hmm. all in BGRS interface. Three properties we selected. Um, was it this one in San Isidro, mm -hmm. the one that you wanted to, or was it the other one? Is it this one? I think it's the one you had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one here. Yeah. Okay, let's see. That's Ooh. really nice. Oh, there it is. Ooh. That is nice. <laughs> I like it. Is it suitable for you? Yeah, it has a gym, has a pool. So, Ana Maria, um, you know, when we went to Mexico, we saw the prices, but now when we come from Patricia's email, uh, we decided that we wanted to hide the price for Patricia, so she's not able to see it. Meanwhile, okay. staying compliant with the budget that has been allocated. Mm -hmm. Great. And as you can tell here by the description right here, families relocating to Lima will enjoy a comfortable stay. So, I mean, this is really designed for the corporate assignee, the corporate mm -hmm. transferee. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, you know. So it feels like an Airbnb, but it's it's mm -hmm. much more duty of care, you know, aligned, and mm -hmm. much more designed for for this client. Yeah, so that's that's how it um, it's like for Patricia's experience. Um, any questions from the audience regarding the product? Is, 
does anybody else want to try one with their company on it? I see, uh, I see some other companies there as well. Does anyone else want to try? We can create a, a landing page from scratch and show you how easy it is to do that. Or if you have other partners, or we've also had clients who, um, uh, you know, our relocation companies or our corporate clients who wanted to do company pages for their own employees to land on for, you know, self-service situations as well. So feel free to challenge us. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Stephanie, me too. I feel like I would, I would really like to go to Lima to those apartments there. <laughs> Stephanie saying that she loves the user interface, both for the BGRS view and for the email. It mm -hmm. looks very nice and easy to use, and it makes her want to relocate. It makes me want to go to Lima also. That's a place <laughs> I've never been to, and I, yeah. why not get to know Miraflores more intimately? <laughs> Exactly. exactly. <laughs> I've been to Miraflores and that looks a lot better than the view that I got. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Don't be shy, people. It's fine. <laughs> 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 uh, I uh, just question about how Altovita charge for their services. Do, do you charge a kind of commission fee for directly to the venue, or or do you charge for using the platform uh, in general? I mean, it, I think it depends if you work directly with the partner or directly with the company. But I, I mean, I would like to know how do you work on that. Yeah, um, so Ben mentioned earlier, we, we really work with um, both price parity and price transparency. Price parity means that, um, you know, we make sure that the prices that are being offered on our platform is, com is competitive. Um, you, will will, you will not find the same property elsewhere um, that is cheaper. And also price transparency, meaning actually we don't charge our clients anything uh, to use the platform or to for anything really. We only charge our suppliers, uh, the property managers with a completely transparent commission based fee, uh, which is 9%. And then awesome. lastly, um, we also work on strict non multi layering policy, which means we only work with the direct operators. No more crazy chart I showed earlier in the presentation. <laughs> a great question Rigo. I mean we hear that a lot from our RMC clients and our corporate clients who maybe use multiple corporate housing companies and they receive the same properties back at different prices and they can see that that there's a lot of layering going on right which drives their cost up and also means that their employees budget doesn't go nearly as far. So that was another thing that we were trying to to correct you know that we saw happening in the marketplace. Great question. Yeah. I also have seen some cases where probably the company already have a, an agreement with the venue and then, you know, it's like perhaps they even have better prices uh, or negotiated prices in advance. So that could be a case where, I mean, it's definitely a specific case, but I mean, just trying to give you some other uh, real examples that I have seen in the past. But yeah. mm. Yeah, Carolina, I think we were, we're planning to um, incorporate negotiated rates with uh, specific corporates within our platform. Mm -hmm. So let's say, um, you, you know, our client is, and just for argument's sake, let's say ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil has already negotiated prices with a big um, service apartment operator like Fraser's Hospitality, for example. Um, our plan is to be able to incorporate those negotiated rates into the platform so that when ExxonMobil clients use the platform, it's already been reflected in there. Yeah, this is the beauty of really having a personalized interface. So that way the system can recognize which companies are logging in and then they will have access to, to the rates. And then from our side, it's again negotiated with the supplier, with the operator, we work with them directly. So that's the moment where they're able to to give the preferred uh, pricing onto our platform for the specific client. Yeah. I would love to ask the folks that are watching what your feedback is. Is there, um, do you like it? Do you think that there's improvements that we could make? We, 
you know, Vivi talked about, you know, one of our clients, Apple, you know, they gave us some, some great improvements, actually a product improvement where now we can see how far the commute is from the, from each property to the, to the office, right. Which is fantastic. So if there's any feedback or anything, uh, we'd love to hear it as well. Uh, I, I really liked the, the, the presentation and the, the, the way that they work. Uh, and uh, the, the interface, uh, I found the properties there very beautiful. Uh, the, the ones that we have, uh, I know this was just a, a kind of funny exercise, but it made me, uh, it made us <laughs> want to, to go to to Mira Flores. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and I think that the way that you work, it seems to be easy uh, for RMTs and for clients, so they can have a, a nice overview uh, of the, the property. Uh, the only thing that I was uh, just checking in your emails and it was not uh, uh, clear to me, I don't know if mm -hmm. it's just because it's a demo or whatever, but uh, just coming back a little, so uh, maybe it's a, a, a window for, for improvement, but it was not clear to me that the property was pet friendly. Uh, it was uh -huh. one of the particular requirements. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. No, that, that's, that's a great feedback. Um, actually, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, we, we received a similar feedback not long ago. It's, it's one that we have been pondering and uh, thinking mm -hmm. about how to present this better. Uh, so part of it is a lot of education to the property managers to, to mm -hmm. make sure that when, they, um, when their properties accept PET, they need mm -hmm. to clearly indicate it in the system uh -huh. so that yeah. data is, is fed to our system. And then mm -hmm. you can see uh, exactly mm -hmm. which ones are PET friendly or not. Noted, mm -hmm. thank you so much for the feedback. Uh, we will definitely... Uh, give it a lot of thoughts um we really love feedback this is how we manage to grow uh and design our product um and you know the, we we really want to have a balance of producing a product that no one has never has not ne has not seen before but at the same time we want to build a product that people want to use so so these feedback are really useful for us no of course no maybe the property is pet friendly because of course it's one it's yeah. one of her requests but uh when i once i sent, i share the information with her it will, it will not be clear to to her uh at, yeah. at the first sight that yeah. it is really pet friendly so you know yeah. it's a back and forth that we can avoid simply it's just a simple adjustment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's easier for the for the assignee right exactly yeah. exactly mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I'm just a little bit concerned with timing here, and we still have to talk a little bit about the, the Innovation Summit. Yeah, so not that I want to cut everybody off, but I'm already cutting. Just concerned that we have enough time to talk about the Innovation Summit. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Dora, um, I noticed that you unmuted your mic. I didn't know if you had I just wanted to ask real quick. Um, I I think it was like super people friendly. It was easy to, you know, I could see, you know, easily, you know, booking something through, um, through Auto Vita. But I don't know if I missed it, but how is the invoicing process? You know, because we have like, um, so each client pays differently. They have a lump sum, some the client, you know, their corporate will pay. So I was thinking if you guys have like uh, several ways of, you know, of uh, adjusting the payment process to make it easier. Yeah. Now, so. Yeah, if I may just address this quickly. Um, yeah, so we can uh, invoice the RMC or the corporate, um, however mm -hmm. you want. Uh, and usually we invoice after the employee checks in safely um, and we provide a 14 day payment term um, usually. And then, um, yeah. And um, after uh, the invoice have been issued, then obviously you have 14, 14 days to pay. And that's pretty straightforward um, working off uh, the invoicing with RMCs. But when it comes to a lump sum, for example, mm -hmm. we would ask you, do you want the employees to be liable for it? Or do you want the company to be liable? Or do you want the RMC to be a liable? Um, if, if it's a company or the RMC, then it's easy. It goes back to uh, the traditional invoicing. But if it's employee, then what we do is usually um, upon booking, the employee will enter their payment details. Okay. 14 days. Yeah. Okay. Carolina, uh, is, is that right? 14 days? Mm, uh, yeah, typically for the for the relocation management companies, that would be 14 yeah. days. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. That's easy. <laughs> Shall we talk about the innovation? I think so. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's do it.
I'm excited about it. Do you want me? Should I go first? Or? Yeah, yeah, please do. And I like, can uh, fill in that. Um, and we also have okay. a little video that we would like to show you um, as well as a sneak peek to our next Thursday's um, event. All right. Well, let me uh, let me really quick intro it, and then maybe we can try to do the video and see how, see how that works. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the corporate. Housing Innovation Summit is coming up, and the first session is next week on March 25th. Very excited. Patricia is our ambassador for the LATAM uh, portion of it. We're actually bringing together ambassadors, and we're, I'm calling them delegates uh, just because I'm, I'm taking the ambassador thing just a step further. But we're bringing together thought leaders and folks like yourselves um, together to actually talk about real world challenges in each region. And we're going to do what's called a design thinking workshop, where we actually have Chris Roberts from Ayers, who is a uh, director of innovation, and he is a design thinking expert. And he is actually going to facilitate this uh, hour long design thinking um, workshop. I'm going to co-host it with him. He's 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 the brains, I, I say. I'm I'm just the I guess I'm the, I don't know, I'm not even the pretty face. I don't know what we're thinking here, actually. Um, but anyway, so the two of us are going to run this session. It's going to be a lot of fun. And um, it's an opportunity to really openly collaborate using a bunch of tools that are really neat that he's going to show you in the, uh, in the video, Wonder Me, and also the Mural, which is kind of a virtual whiteboard. And we're going to put all these problems together and put all these solutions together and actually work through and then come up with um, over the next three months actually work through taking them from problems through uh, actually building software and te technology solutions, testing those, getting feedback, testing, getting feedback, and actually debuting real live software solutions to solve these problems. So I'm really excited about it. I think it's the first event like it that we've ever really done in the global mobility industry. Super excited. Vivi? Carolina? Yeah, um, so I just, just wanted to highlight that um, the way we think about this is um, as we are a product-led um, uh, technology-driven company, uh, we have taken uh, a holistic product uh, research and development process and then bring it, it live to you guys. Um, sort of similar how Anna Maria gave us a feedback. Um, we need pet-friendly, pet it needs to be pushed out. And when we think about it and we build a prototype, uh, you will be able to play around with the prototype. We get more feedback. Uh, our engineering team, design team will, will start thinking a bit again how to refine the product better. Um, and then uh, at the end, before we launch the product, which will be five days, five continents, five new product features, um, you'll be able to give even more feedback. <laughs> this is how the product development works. We just could continue to fine tune until it's perfect. By the end of the three month um, process, it will still not be perfect probably, but you will have a much better idea of how product development um, takes place and the thinking behind all of this. So with that, I will now start sharing my screen again and show you just a quick uh, sneak peek of what will happen on Thursday. Does the video has any sound or not? Uh, yeah, when you share the screen, you just need to uh, flag the option of share sound. Hmm. Yes. It may also be going through her headphones. Yeah. But as you can see, I'll, I'll narrate, how about that? So what you're seeing right here is the mural actually, which uses the white, um, you know, the white board and the post-its. And then this is actually tables that we congregate together and actually can collaborate. So there's tables for you know, Europe, for APAC, for LATAM, Africa, US, and we come together and this is what it looks like when we're together on the tables right here. And there's happy hour, there's networking to open it and then actually we're gonna spend about an hour actually working on problems. So it's a lot of fun. I tell you what, we smiled the whole time because it was such <laughs> a novel approach, right? It was like such an eye-opening, cool thing to do. So um, even if you're not directly involved in corporate housing, I think you're going to probably find it to be very fun just because it changes the way that we think about thinking. Yeah, and if I can just add a little bit here, um, we, we are doing all this launch of AutoVita here uh, because we are going to have the, the, the honor of having a LATAM table. So there is somebody that is thinking about LATAM 
And um, that's really different for us because normally we're just the leftovers, right? So really important to be thought of and, and having this table there. I have already mentioned a few people and invited a few people like Danny, he's already said, it sounds great to be part of. Um, and we need people that really speak up, people that talk, people that are not embarrassed, you know, people that are gonna add value to the table. I'm sure we have lots of those people here mm -hmm. on the call. Um, so I'm really excited to be able to put this table together to discuss LATAM and have um, Altovita bring a solution for us. So uh -huh. Vivi and Carolina, thanks a lot for the invite. And Ben, I know you have your little finger in there inviting me. So <laughs> <laughs> I have um, put the link um, to the video. Um, I, I was able to listen to the sound, but I, I realized that you weren't. So please do check out the link and then play the video. It's, it's only a 50 second video. Okay. So thanks a lot to Vivi and Carolina and Ben. We have here the, the, the satisfaction survey. Very important that you help and answer so that we can share with the ladies after and with Ben, sorry for the ladies. And um, so that we know what we have to do and what we have to improve for the next session when we have one. Carolina and Vivi, thanks so much for sponsoring this first set of super sessions, right? Because it was two. Um, we're really pr proud. And for who's on the call, the super session is normally sponsored by only one company. And they decide who this company wants, this company decides who they want to invite. So uh, this session, Altavita decided to do open. It was open to everybody, but we might have other super sessions that are closed. So be prepared. You never know what Brazil Talks is going to bring to you. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. For...